Hey, planner friends, it's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia. It is time for week number 38 of our savings challenge. This is our second to last week in September saving. We had a five Friday week this month. And um, we also did not, I shouldn't say we did not. Um, this probably would have been a great month to save more with it having five weeks. But it's actually less that the goal is that we're working towards this month. Savings goal is $500. And that is primarily because we are also working to set aside money for student loan payments, which I check every day. Mohila ain't sending me nothing. They ain't been like, hey, you know, your payment is coming. So I'm assuming my payment is going to be the end of October because they ain't sent me one single thing. It says no payment due date. It's still there, though. The balance is still there. But no payment due date. <laughs> um, I believe the law is that you got to contact someone six times before their payment starts. They've contacted me zero times. Um, so, yeah. Maybe if they process my form, they could just go ahead and forgive my loans. Because I'm pretty close to or should be at or near somewhere around 120. But anyway, I digress. Anyways, that's why we're saving less. So, let's jump into this week. Um, I did, uh, pull less numbers this month, so I'm really not counting that towards my, I shouldn't say that because it really does count. Anyways, before I confuse myself, I have no $5 bills this month or this week. Um, zero out savings challenge is going to be $9 and 13 cents. We have sent that over electronically. That goes to our emergency fund. And that gives us 234.34 month to date. Zero out savings challenge. Um, I am going to just do $8 here on this save and double. I think I'm going to carry this one over to next month as well. So I don't have any type of marker I could color with. Oh, yeah, I do. I think. Yeah. I think this came in the cloth and paper. It's really cute. So we're going to do this $8 this week. I like this highlighter a lot. Can I get this in some other colors? I like the feel of it. Um, so save and double, $8. Y'all, I'm keeping it super simple. Um, you know, I did save some money towards uh, self-care, or 23 and 2023 last month, and I still never went and got my pedicure. Um, we're not going to save anything there this month. We're not going to save anything to the 52 week or save awfully. I think, let's see, I pulled six numbers initially. I needed to pull 10 this month. Then I pulled two. So I think I'll pull one for the 100 envelope challenge. <clears throat> That's just to try to stay on par with um 52 in the year so there's our bag of numbers and 41 is our number so that's going to put us way over our savings goal for the month However, when you look at the 100 envelope challenge, in order to save the 5000 that it equates to in a year, you're saving on average $420 a month. And um, 
with my other savings challenges. 500 is really not hard to hit in a month. So I left this out. I didn't mean to do that. I won't be able to find it later. Anyways. Okay. So for this week, we have $8.00. $9.13 and $41 for a total of $58.13. And when we add that to our month to date total, we are at $542.39. So to recap real quick, $8 went to save and double. That goes to our home fund, one nine thirteen to the zero out. That goes to the emergency fund. The 100 envelope challenge money is $41 this week. It also goes to the emergency fund. And that brings us to a total this week of $58.13 and a total this month of $542.39. So that is our savings challenge update for week 38. I will see you back here for week 39. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure that you're saving this week. I'll see you next time. Bye.